Hello again. There was a time when the Labour Party in this country represented the interests of the working man. Those were the days when miners, factory workers, engineers and postmen became Labour MPs and, remembering their origins, they stood up for ordinary people. This tradition came to an end with Harold Wilson's last administration in the 1970s. Since that time, Labour has become the party of the opportunistic middle classes, who take working class votes for granted and are more concerned with building a fan base among Muslims and families of African and Caribbean immigrants. Although they depend upon the white working class vote, they secretly despise such people and regard them as being little better than ignorant and politically illiterate peasants. We saw this attitude in Diane Abbott's letter to the Observer newspaper on Sunday. She simply does not care about white people and believes that they can never suffer as much as black people do. For her, white working class people are a troublesome irrelevance. She wants them to vote for her, of course, which in Hackney they will continue to do. It has rightly been said of Hackney, even when Ernie Roberts was the MP just before Abbott, that Labour could put a donkey up as their candidate and, and it would still be voted into Parliament. We have, of course, seen some very fine illustrations of this same attitude in recent years. We saw it in 2010, for instance, when an ordinary working woman asked then Prime Minister Gordon Brown why her area was being overrun with Eastern European immigrants. A reasonably enough question, you might think, and one dear to the hearts of many working class white people. After giving her the brush off, he got in his car and, forgetting that his microphone was switched on, dismissed her as just a bigoted woman. He promptly lost that election. Then there is the current Labour Shadow Attorney General, Emily Thornberry. She is married to Sir Christopher Nugie, of course, and her title, which she declines to use for political reasons, is Lady Nugie. Her mother was a teacher and her father a lecturer in international history at the London School of Economics before he uh, went off to work for the United Nations. This is not the first time that she has been Shadow Attorney General, of course. In 2014, when she held the same post under Ed Miliband, she was campaigning in Rochester when she tweeted the image of a house she had passed, which had two English flags hanging outside and a white van in the driveway. These were clearly white working class people, and Thornbury thought that they were so funny and quaint that she had to share their strange customs on Twitter. She was then forced to resign. This is a Labour politician, the Shadow Attorney General, who, although she lives in Islington, could afford to send her children to a selective school in Hertfordshire, 14 miles from where she lived. How many working people in this country can afford that luxury? The fact is, the Labour Party is utterly divorced these days from working people. The left wing in this country regard the white working class as symbolising and epitomising all that they oppose. It was the working classes who were stupid enough to vote for Brexit. Who opposed unrestricted immigration to this country? The white working classes, of course. Who wishes to continue driving their wretched petrol-driven cars around and oppose any controls on traffic? It's those pesky working class folk again. Whenever the left have a brilliant new scheme, people blocking their path and liable to vote conservative are the white working class. They are a constant thorn in the side of liberal and progressive people in Britain and particularly irksome to the Labour Party. Labour may dislike them intensely, but they cannot make this too obvious because they still rely upon them for their votes. It's a tricky situation, hating somebody and yet being reliant upon them for your very success. 
Little wonder that when people like Diane Abbott, Emily Thornberry and so on give the game away, they're forced to resign or face suspension. It really wouldn't do as a general election draws ever closer to let white people in this country see plainly how Labour really views them 